Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. Now, there's a few things that I want to talk about uh, before we get started. Number one, these security cameras here, who's watching those cameras? Because in the last one, when I edited the video, Baby and her crew said, she's watching us. Not he's watching us, she's watching us. So who is that? Is that the voice on the intercom? Is the voice on the intercom actually Baby? And is baby, those little voices in there, just the babies in there. So there's a lot of mysteries here. Also, this. <laughs> uh, this. <laughs> this. <laughs> and this last one doesn't do anything, and neither does that. So anyway, that's a whole bunch of stuff. Not important right now. We're going to get back to Freddy's little room here and try to beat that. Maintenance vent opened. First, we got to get through Ballora. Ballora. Don't kill me. No, 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 Sneaking! We're making it! Ah! Yeah! Suck on that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure my pro- trigger breaker room. You may now interface with the breaker control box. Okay. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Uh-huh. Okay, so I think my problem here was I tried to do too many at once. Like, obviously, the danger is going to be bad. Hi! Hi! Oh, okay! He moves! I did not know he moved! Is it? Is everything okay? I don't know about that! So it does save a little bit of progress. But I gotta listen for the shuffly shoe of a- of a wild bear. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, go back to sleep. Oh, God, hi! How are you doing? Oh! Go! 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 <laughs> no one's here! Oh my god, that smile. That, that winning smile. It's so nice. Okay. That's a shuffle. That's a shuffle. It's bedtime. Let's go back to our stage. I think, I think the little voice is Bonnie, but Bonnie is talking to Funtime Freddy. And that's not a happy duo. Well, it's happy for the- Go! <laughs> and who's that voice? Who, who's talking about Bond? Who's talking about Bond? Is that Freddy? Let's go back to sleep. Is that Freddy's voice? Why does Freddy sound like such a douche? And... Ah! Great job. This completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery with care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Yes! I did it! I could have done that in the last episode! I didn't know that was gonna end right there! Woo! <sighs> I feel lightheaded. Oh god, no. Oh god, not again. Dun 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 Sneaking. Dun 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 Ballora. Dun 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 No! Go back to sleep! I think it was just a mouse! I can hear someone. Creeping through my room. Ah, but I don't think so. I think, <laughs> I think this be your lies. Perhaps not. Yeah, that's the one. You need to worry about me. I just need to worry about me. And don't mind the yelling. I yell when I'm nervous. Okay. Oh! We're the best in the world, and we are friends for- Oh, ever. Okay, anyway, I guess my friend song is over. Oh, good. As Back the to my sets, soaps. So also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Uh. Can their love rise again? That and more <laughs> happening now. I, I, I have no idea. Clara, the baby <laughs> isn't mine. It is Vlad. They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. 
So what? Lots of kids get hyper and run around and stuff. They had to knock him out of the air with a broom. I have to go. They're going to dock your paychecks. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't get paychecks. You work the graveyard shift at the Fry Me Taco. Don't lie to me. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Uh, oh. When will the heartbreak end? When will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long lost love? Tune in tomorrow to find out. My god, it's so bizarre because I, I imagine this is trying to paint this guy's existence as a normal everyday Joe, and he just, after he's done working, Daddy he goes just home. Once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Mm. Okay, so what's interesting about that is that voice, I believe, is the daughter of Welcome Mr. Ashton. Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career, where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> what would my friends say? <laughs> and most importantly, will I ever see my family again? <laughs> we understand the stresses of a new job, and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. Aww. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using cool. the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. Sure! It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Dubstep. Thank you for selecting... Casual Bongos. <laughs> casual Bongos? Now that oh, your elevator yeah. experience has been customized to your needs, and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. What?! These casual bongos have turned sour! How can you say that? What did I do? Well, come on! Oh, also, Mr. Ashton apparently is a character in the books, and apparently that's Purple Guy. Whoever that is, is Purple Guy, but then that would make Purple Guy the creator of this, these animatronics. So what does it all mean? Can we cut the casual bongos? <sighs> Is gonna, is like bongos just gonna follow Due to me? unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. Oh. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Uh, uh. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. <laughs> it's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. Uh, okay, so this Foxy is definitely a female? But, well, you know, that's a, that's a revelation that's gonna have to go in second place to what the fuck I just saw over on Ballora's stage! Uh, okay, you know, never mind. Maybe I shouldn't be so worried about it. Oh yeah, Foxy's gone. Great. Run. It looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please <laughs> refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Uh, excuse me? Are you trying to tell me what to do? How dare you? I'm gonna go straight into Baby's room and check on Baby. Cause if, if there's one thing that Markiplier is, it's a good daddy and I'm gonna check on Baby. Ugh. Okay, so what have we got over here? All right. Baby! Oh boy. I, I don't think I should be here. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't be here. Is there any reason for this? Do I need to be here? Sure, point. Hmm. Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long. Only one day. What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. No one sat at the tables, though. But children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me. 
Others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else, down a hall. I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl standing by herself. I was no longer myself. And I stopped singing. My stomach opened and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? <laughs> Uh, that painted a very vivid picture of something exceptionally fucked. Let me try to rationalize exactly what she was talking about there. She, uh, she was on stage once with balloons and such, not some sort of birthday party establishment. And then, uh, there was one girl in the room, and it's entirely possible, it's entirely possible that that one girl was the daughter of Mr. Ashton, who is the purple guy, uh, supposedly, and the purple guy made this animatronic in her his daughter's image, and then it made ice cream out of her? Or maybe not, I don't know. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, that's so horrifying. But that would make sense, unless her counting thing was only looking for an opportunity for there to be one person in the room, and then, oh man, either way, whoo! I am not glad I came in here. I regret that very much so. So let's skedaddle on out of here and continue on to Funtime Foxy because ho trigger. Circus gallery holy Holy shit. Ah, oh, boy. That's interesting though because that's the first time I've ever encountered like a deliberate Easter egg in this game. Everything else has been random chance, but that's the first time you could like incidentally go to something and reveal more of the story. So let's carry on to Funtime Foxy and recap. Funtime Auditorium maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Okay. A poof! The fuck, I didn't see anything! A poof! Oh boy. A poof! Hey! Okay. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. oh, I got cupcakes! Oh, hi! Whoa. Oh, oh! Oh, boy! This seems, uh. This seems not so good. <laughs> I, I, I'm not entirely sure I understand exactly what's going on here, but something tells me it's it's not entirely good. Oh, it's a shotgun of cupcakes! Ha 
All right, you want you want a cupcake, kid? I'll get both of you. Hibiski! Oh yeah, you all enjoy your cupcakes. And, uh, what is happening here? What is going on? I have no idea. You want one, kid? Oh man, I'm out of cups. Oh man, I'm out of cakes. Oh jeez. Oh, green one. Well, that that sounds good. What does this do? Do I even want to know? Oh, it carries through. God damn it. I wish I knew what these things did before I used them. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Oh, dag dab it. Well, we're just gonna have one kid without it, so that's nice. I don't- I don't have any! I don't have any! You guys are all screwed! I'm literally out. How do you expect me to do anything? Oh, boy. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Okay, you guys are just gonna do without, because what can I do? Woo! Hell yeah! I made it! All game over! I forgot that I died! Well, alright then. So, that's a thing. Okay. You have been provided with a flash beacon. <laughs> oh! Hey! What the fuck? I, uh... Got boned. So, uh, don't just walk forward in the dark is the, uh, the, the, the name of the game there. Okay, so when I hear a movement in the darkness, I think that's Foxy moving around. So I'm gonna wait until I hear, like, a sound that signifies, like, in front of me. Oh, jeez. I don't know. <laughs> hey! Oh, come on, man! I thought I had that. I thought there was a distinct sound when she moves in front of you and then a distinct sound when she moves away. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my time on this one. I'm gonna wait a good long time between each movement. It seems to be working, it just is taking a long time. My theory is that there's a reason they have the sound for the recharging. So it acts like as a- it acts like as a timer for how long it takes to cool down Foxy. So hopefully that's a better way of going about it, but I don't know for sure, but it seems to be working. Oh, I don't know. I hope I don't. Whoa. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. Oh. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. Oh. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Mm. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Oh, okay. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek ah. and press it. I did the right cheek! Oh, no, I did the right cheek. I did his right. Okay. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. This one? Okay. Great. <laughs> now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Okay. Hey! God damn it! Good job. Fuck you. The face plates should now be open. Uh. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. <sighs> Uh, here? Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. How? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, I hate this. Why is he over here? Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Oh. Press oh. the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Uh. 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 
hey, 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 h
how you would feel about something with that name. Thankfully, I don't think a freshly opened pint of ice cream feels anything at all. Uh-oh. It sounds like someone else is in the building. Shh. Causing them to come loose. <laughs> you don't want them to get too loose. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. How do I? Ooh. Okay. I just gotta click and hold on him. Why is Belora looking at me? Why is Belora looking at me? Why did I wiggle so damn much? Oh, hi. Who the fuck is that? What the fuck are you? I'll look at you in just a second, but holy shit. Ah, off! What the fuck? What was that? What was that? What was that? What do I do? I don't know. Okay, that's all the time I have for this episode here. Wow. This is just wild. Like, everything that I knew is thrown out the window and it's all new stuff, which is good. And, and it, it kind of ties together with something that I realized that, you know, when Scott first announced this game and released the first trailer, it didn't even have Five Nights at Freddy's in the name. If you look back on the trailer on YouTube, it just says Sister Location Trailer 1. And I think there's a point to that. We're not at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. We're just not. Like, that's not why we're here. This is a whole new experience. So I'm going to continue this in another episode. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!